Welcome to the lecture series of Mechanics of Solids. In today's lecture, we will get the introduction about centroid and center of gravity. Outline of this session. In this session, we will learn about first centroid, center of gravity, the difference between centroid and center of gravity. We will derive the equation for center of gravity. So to get the introduction of centroid and center of gravity, let us see a small video. In this video, we can see a person is rotating wooden plank very nicely on a single finger. This is not any magic. This can be done using the concept of centroid and center of gravity. When such wooden plank or any object is balance through a single point where the whole mass or we can say the whole weight of particular body is concentrated then it can be balanced like this or we can give any such motion also it is the point where the whole mass of particular body or we can say the whole mass of wooden plank is concentrated and it can be rotated see in this picture we can see many stones which are having irregular shape they are balanced very nicely and very beautifully one over another this is also possible when cg of all stones are come in a single plumb line so using the principle of center of gravity this all become possible you might have seen a person who walk on the rope he or she is also balancing the centroid of his body exactly over the rope so he or she can walk in solving the problems of engineering we idealize a body as a particle this particle is nothing but it is the center of gravity of entire body. The entire weight of body acts through this point. Many complex structures like aeroplane, ship, pyramid, etc. need to be analyzed for their stability and distribution of that masses should be in such a way that center of gravity can be at the desired place. So now we can define centroid. Centroid, it is defined as a point about which the entire length, area or volume is assumed to be concentrated. If it is one dimensional, its length is concentrated about any such point. If it is two dimensional object means plane figure which is having only length and width, no thickness and it may be a three dimensional object which is having some volume which occupies some volume. So in all one dimensional, two dimensional or three dimensional object we can find a point where the entire length area or volume is assumed to be concentrated and it can be balanced through this point and when we idealize this body as a particle so this particle is centroid of this entire body now let us define center of gravity Center of gravity, it is defined as a point about which the entire weight of a body is assumed to be concentrated. Center of gravity is a point in a solid body which contains the weight. So in such a body, the point where the entire weight of a body is assumed to be concentrated, it is called center of gravity. Now let us see some difference between these two.
centroid is related to distribution of length in one dimensional object area in two dimensional object and volume in three dimensional object whereas center of gravity is related to distribution of mass in a particular body centroid word is used to represent the center of line center of arc square rectangle triangle circle etc where center of gravity is a word used to represent the center of solid body like cube cone cuboid and sphere so now let us try to derive the equation for center of gravity now we want to derive the equation of center of gravity the center of gravity of any object can be find out by principle of moment applied to parallel forces this principle of moment can be stated as the moment of resultant gravitational force means weight w about any axis is equal to the sum of moments of individual weights about the same axis so in a particular body the resultant gravitational force means w if we take the moment of it about any axis that is equal to sum of individual moments of small small weights about the same axis so here in the figure let us consider a three dimensional body which is having total weight w now this body is divided in small weights of equal size and shape in small small elements which is having weight dw1 dw2 dw3 and up to dwn so this complete element is divided in small elements which is having weight this complete body is divided in n number of small small elements the weight of all this n number of small elements are dw1 dw2 dw3 up to dwn here all the elements are small which is having equal size and equal shape so we can write as all small element are having equal shape and size so weight of all this element will be same so dw1 dw2 dw3 dwn all are equal to dw so we can write weight of the whole body that is equal to sum of all individual weights so we can write w that is equal to w1 plus w2 plus w3 up to wn and if we take summation we can write summation of all element from i to n dw that will give us total weight w so this is total weight it may also called resultant gravitational force we will take sum of moments of all individual weights about y axis we want to apply the principle of moment and for that we will take moment of all the small individual weight about y axis we will take moment so sum of moments of all individual weight about y axis so this is the first weight which is having dw1 and its distance from y axis is x1 so moment that is equal to product of these two dw1 into x1 here we want to take sum of all moments so we'll add dw2 into x2 dw3 into x3 likewise we will add all individual weight with their respective distance from y x up to n elements so it can be written like this now we can write in form of summation so that is equal to summation of all 
weight into the respective distance from y axis from element 1 to n. In form of integration, we can write integration of x into dw. So, this is very important equation for us. Now, let us work out moment of resultant weight about phi x. So, now moment of resultant weight about y axis. So, total weight of the body is w and the distance of centroid of this body from y axis is x bar. So, we can write that is equal to w into x bar. This is important equation number 2 for us. Now, according to principle of moment, equation 1 and equation 2 are same. So, let us compare these two. So, equating 1 and 2, we can write w into x bar that is equal to integration of x dw. Now, let us uh, take w on the other side of equation. It will be like this. Now, w can be written as individual summation of all such small weights. So, we can write w that is equal to integration of dw. So, finally, we have got the equation of x bar that is equal to integration of x dw divided by integration of dw and same way, for y bar, we can write it is integration of y dw upon dw. So, this is the equation to determine the center of gravity of any body. Thank you very much for watching this video. If you have any doubt or query, please write in the comment box. I will be very happy to help you. Thank you. Thank you very much.